with Lordy Bob again today. I thought I would uh, go over a poem with you today. It's a beautiful poem. I'll try not to cry. It's a beautiful thing because I have had what happened to this thing in this poem happen to me. See if it has happened to you yet. Twas battered and scarred in the auctioneer, thought it scarcely worth his, worth his while to waste much time on the old violin, but held it up with a smile. What am I bid, good folks, he cried. Well, who'll start the bidding for me? <clears throat> a dollar, a dollar, now two, only two. Two dollars, and who'll make it three? Three dollars once and three dollars twice, going for three, but no. From the room far back, a gray-haired man came forward and picked up the bow. Then wiping the dust from the old violin and tightening up all the strings, he played a melody pure and sweet, as sweet as an angel sings. The music ceased and the auctioneer with a voice that was quiet and low said, what am I bid for this old violin? And he held it up with the bow. A thousand dollars. And who'll make it two? Two thousand. And who'll make it three? Three thousand once and three thousand twice. And going and gone, said he. The people cheered, but some of them cried, we do not quite understand. What changed its worth? The man replied, the touch of the master's hand. And many a man with life out of tune and battered and torn with sin is auctioned cheap to a thoughtless crowd much like the old violin. A mess of pottage, a glass of wine, some gambling, and he travels on. He's going once and going twice, he's going and almost gone. But the master comes and the foolish crowd never can quite understand the worth of a soul and the change that's wrought by the touch of the master's hand. A poem by Myra Books Welch. <clears throat> you know, friends, I used to be like that old violin. Sin had uh, brought me up short as a young man, and I had failed a number of times and things and let myself down, and I didn't have confidence in myself, and I didn't know how to fix the things that I'd done wrong. You know what was wrong with me? I needed the touch of the Master's hand. And on May 21st, 1972, at 2.18 in the morning, a friend witnessed to me and told me how Jesus loved me died for me on Calvary, shed his blood to wash my mistakes and sins away, rose for my justification so I won't ever have to go to hell if I'm trusting in him and will be able to live with everlasting life in heaven. And he told me that Jesus, the master, loved me. And all I had to do to get that blessing in my life was accept him as my Savior. Friend, if you're messed up on drugs, if you're having trouble with pornography, if you can't handle liquor, if you can't stop cussing and being sorry, you need the touch of a master's hand. If you're that way and you want to get fixed up right, say the sinner's prayer seriously with me right now. Heavenly Father, Please forgive me for my sins. You know I am a sinner, all the things I've done wrong. Heavenly Father, I trust what Jesus Christ did on Calvary as the payment for my sins. Please wash those sins and the stains away with his precious blood and rise me up in new life with him as he was risen from the dead. And Father, fill me with your Holy Spirit so I might be empowered to live for Christ now and stop making the messes that I've made up to this point. Lord, make something worthwhile out of my life by the touch of the Master's hand. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. See you later. Bye. Lordy Bob.